Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're checking out a website builder built inside Figma. This website builder will allow you to build websites like in Webflow or Framer Web and launch it to your domain immediately from inside Figma. No leaving Figma for anything. This will help you convert your portfolios that you've designed in Figma to a real website. This will help you design a startup's website or a business's website right there in Figma without having to leave the tool. So without further ado, let's check this out. All right, so I already have a little Figma file here called Makers and that is the exact name of the community plugin that is available. Now if you search for Makers under plugins you will find something called Makers from Figma to site and this is exactly what you have to download. Once you've installed it from here you can go back to the Makers file or whichever file you have and conveniently you can click Command P or Control P and then say Makers the makers from Figma to site plugin. Now once this now once this loads, you'll probably have to log in or sign up. But since I've signed up, here's the page. Start by creating a new page. Now this entire project called Makers is acting as the actual website. So now I'm gonna click on new page. Under this, as you can see, there's already something called untitled site page. These are the titles and the descriptions of the site. You can edit the site's title and SEO from here as well, just by saying, hey, uh, makers. I'm just going to call it Makers for this one. You can call it whatever. This is the title that you see in your browser. The entire page or the artboard has been named to Makers. Now, as you can see, we have three really nice options under here called Components, Templates and Tutorials. So if you're looking to say get in depth with this tool, you can always click on Tutorials and see the videos right here. Now here there's something called Templates. Yes, the creator of this tool has also allowed a com almost like a community tab uh, where there are bunch of designs and websites that have been created. Hopefully, there'll be many more to come. For example, there's this Pooja's portfolio preview in browser. I can always click on this and it, and it just leads to a community file. So the websites itself act as Figma files, which are really cool. Now, how do we build from scratch or update our websites from here? It's pretty simple. You can choose from all these variations right here. For example, I want to put a hero title here. I'll click on main section and it will add a main section inside the makers page right here. So this main section is already pre-designed. I can basically hide this entire node right here on the phone, tablet or desktop. So you can even choose where you want to show an, a certain element, which I think is really cool. Now under this as well, if I say click on this button, if I select just this button right here, there is an option called make clickable. So you can even add links or anything else. You can even add links to any button or link here, which you can either give an external link or you can link it to an internal page of the website itself. The creator of this plugin has made sure all the elements have auto layout on. So whatever you're gonna add here, it's gonna adjust the size of the button, etc. according to auto layout. You can even change all the details of auto layout from here. So you're not restricted to what the creator has created for this file. It's kind of crazy how you can adjust everything in Figma and it will showcase up on the actual website. The state, of course, there are two states which I really like. There is default and there is hover. So as you can see, if I move to hover state, there's a slight shadow. If I move to default, the shadow goes away. You can of course set your own custom hover states and uh, everything by, if you go to this component screen, you can see all the components that can be included inside the website. In fact, this plugin creates a separate page inside your project and under which certain components can be stored, which is a great way to organize the components on a separate page so that you have all the parent components on one page. You can even change the type. So the type might be secondary or primary. As you can see, I think it's really cool that he's prepared all of this. Apart from that, editing is super easy, just like you would do in Figma. There is no other difference. You might, you can change colors, you can change, you can change the type, you can change the font, you can change the image, you can change the color of the background. Everything can be changed just like you would do in Figma. Now the creator was so kind to make an entire layout style for you for each and every section that you put here. So for example, I want a centered kind of uh, title uh, with your buttons at the bottom. There's a centered option. If I say background image, there'll be a background image. If I say split inverted, it will give you the split on the right here. And of course, if I want a stack, as you can see, this is a very popular kind of design layout where there's a phone here, there's text and buttons here. I think this is a very cool way to create. 
I think Figma is a really good web editor as well. Love it. Another really cool thing that I saw here was preview as SVG. So what it will do is once it exports as a website so that you can, you know, view it in your browser, etc. It will export a certain element as an SVG. So if you have icons, if you have an illustration, whatever it is, you can convert it into SVG right from this tool. I think this is really cool. Now there are layout options as well. So you can add a quick uh, column anywhere that you want. Now this, these columns can also act like grids. So you, that you can always do by creating auto layout elements from these columns. Yes. So any auto layouts that you create, custom auto layout elements will showcase on the website as well. Now a big problem that comes to exporting as websites is exporting hover interactions, interactions, clicks, etc. Now if you want to add animations, how does it work? Now what if I want to add say an animation or a transition to this button right here? So if I hover over it, there should be a particular transition with a particular timing. If you go to the prototype section, if you've clicked on this button, you will get this hover option here. So under hover, there is change to. So it changes to a particular state, it changes to a particular style. So you can change between primary and secondary. You have smart animate, which you can edit on your own. So you have all these options, ease in out, ease in, etc. linear. You can change the timing from here. So whatever you're doing in Figma will re reflect, again, remember that point very clearly. I can even add custom animations to say this section of this page, it floats in or whatever. You can add that animation as you would add in Figma to the website itself. Of course, you might not be able to add multiple pages there, but you can add states to each and every element right here. So I, if I want this text to say become faded, if I hover over it, um, I can always add another state here and maybe reduce the opacity and everything and change my web and then add a little prototype here that says on hover, it should move from this text to that state. This is as smooth and as easy as it sounds. Now I've already created a little uh, page right here on another file that I wanted to show. And I've added a bunch of custom colors, animations. I've edited a lot of stuff as in this section, I've edited a lot, this section as well. Each section has been rigorously updated, fiddled with, played with. And this is what I've come up with. I've even added some hover animations, etc. Now, if I click on home and I go down on the right, there's something called plugin. It says, edit this page. I'll click on edit this page once I'm ready to kind of publish and I can, and as you can see, I've already published it, but I'm going to say preview. It will launch my site in a few seconds. And as you can, I'd say within 10 seconds, this uploaded the website right here. It even has a custom domain given to your website. So a free domain for all of you. You can always share this domain with whoever you like. Of course, as you can see, button is on hover. There's a different color and a little bit of shadow. And the same thing is happening here. If I scroll down, uh, there is call to action, publish with Figma, everything has been edited. And of course the mouse also changes. So if there is this navigation element, the mouse will change from normal to this cursor. And of course animations apply everywhere. We can even check whether this will be responsive or not. If I go to inspect and then change this to uh, say tablet or something like that, or even a mobile, everything is mobile ready. Of course, I had, I need to change certain designs right here, but everything is mobile ready and you can test it out almost immediately. Even the navigations have these variants that change on the size and it adds this little menu right here with all the options and the styling that remains. I think this is absolutely incredible. You can even check out the different plans, what they provide, the sites that you've published from sites, support account, and of course, other things as well. I hope you liked this video. If you did, and you want to watch such videos every Monday and Thursday, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon and click on all notifications. Otherwise, you might miss out on some of my videos. I'll see you every Monday and Thursday, same time, same place. Until next time, take care. God bless.